Hi, this is Tracy HD, and I want to thank you for joining me today for our daily energy and guidance reading. This will be for Wednesday, June the 3rd, and I'm using the Nature's Whispers cards by Angela Hartfield and Josephine Wall. You can use it as a pick a card reading, one, two, or three, or a blended reading with all three cards. As I shuffle the deck, I'm asking all light beings, angels, and God, please relay the message I need to share with my viewers for the highest good of all. Card number one is going to be the top card. Card number two, I'll take from the center of the deck. And card number three will be the bottom card. So the first card, which is card 28 in the deck, is Bountiful Harvest. And what a lovely picture this is. And this Bountiful Harvest is saying that you have access to the infinite source of love and resources provided by Mother Earth and the universe. There are no demands, requirements, or conditions that affect your ability to access this supply. This is a wonderful reminder and the absolute truth pertaining to the abundance that is available to you. Grant your abundance the opportunity to flow into your life. It will reshape your perspective. It will strengthen and nourish you. This phase holds a plentitude of affluence and fertility. You are lucky and blessed. So yeah, there's abundance that's going to be flowing into your life where things seem stuck and things seem stagnant and you were putting in all this hard work and dedication and nothing was coming from it. This is telling me that some of you out there are going to start experiencing the fruit from your labor. And then card number two or card 49 from the deck, it says heighten your vitality. And how colorful is this card number 49? And it is saying that basically what we need to do is to, you know, watch for our vitality to dip. And when our vitality dips and we seem sluggish, we need to back off and take some rest. Tap into the depths of your being and draw on your personal power. And, you know, when we're well rested, we're able to dip into this personal power when we're feeling vital and we're feeling alive. But, you know, if you feel like your energy is low, infuse your mind with the warmth of sunlight and visualize the light bringing new energy into you. I mean, just getting outdoors and experience the sunlight and the nature around you is just automatically able to vitalize you or if you need to take a nap you need to take a break do that you know you are able to draw on your energetic reserves when you take care of yourself but when we run ourselves ragged and we're just overworked and stressed out you know we're not going to be able to experience this vitality Allow the energy to boost the flow through you when you're outdoors. I mean, I know for myself, when I'm out in nature, it's a whole different feeling, a whole different energy of feeling grounded and connected, you know, inner peace, calmness. Connect with others to do something you love, to continue creating the change you need. Spend time with a friend, smile, laugh, share a human touch. You know, these are things that are all going to boost your vitality. And, you know, we are all connected, uh, human being to human being, you know, uh, being out in nature, among the trees, the flowers, the animals. Do something that's going to make you feel, you know, vital and alive. And if it means taking a nap or taking a break, do that as well to replenish your energy. And then the third and last card, this is card 36 from the deck, is intuition. And how beautiful does that blend in with the height in your vitality? Because when you're well-rested, grounded, and calm, you're able to tap into your intuition so much easily than if you're stressed or overworked or too busy. You just seem to have a knack for knowing what's going to work. Your creative process is unique to you. You just get started and magic happens. You have a lot of endurance and you're a hard worker. Once you get focused on a project, you don't stop. You're a trendsetter and you seem to understand what people love. You are very forward thinking. You're being reminded that you have your own inner voice guiding you always. Tap in your wisdom and allow yourself the higher perspective. So yes, you know, we may need to get some quiet time. Maybe just to sit for five minutes, do some breathing exercises to calm and ground ourselves. Maybe go for a walk outside, maybe sit outside in nature, whatever it is. I mean, 
We're embarking on a new way of living and some people are changing their lives around completely. And we need to make sure that we're well rested, we're balanced, we're centered. And above all, that quiet time, that peaceful time, that meditation to tap into your intuition is going to be so valuable at this time. What a beautiful reading. If you've enjoyed this reading, please like it by giving a thumbs up, share it, and above all, subscribe because I will be back with more.